Now, the most typical way to solve this problem is to set up what's known as a Lagrangian, which I think most of you should know. Lagrangian is just a way of solving a constrained maximization problem, and our consumer is going to be interested in let's maximize. So we're going to max u of x1 up to xn subject to the sum of x i equals 1 to n, x i p i less than or equal to m. That implies my Lagrangian can be written as u of x1 up to xn plus this magic multiplier lambda, which represents the budget constraint, the, the, the power of the budget constraint, times m minus the sum of i equals 1 to n, x i p i. That's the method of Lagrange multipliers, which can be used to solve this kind of maximization problem. And for purposes of economics, it's going to have a nice approach because that lambda term is going to turn out to be quite interpretable in terms of the underlying economics. So the first order conditions, you solve this problem by taking the derivatives of this Lagrangian with respect to each of the x's and with respect to lambda. You're not really maximizing the Lagrangian. For those of you coming from mathematics, this is really what's called a saddle point, but the, you know, same idea. Critical point is still the same. Your first order conditions are partial u partial x1 minus lambda p1 equals zero down to partial u partial xn minus lambda pn equals zero and your budget constraint, sum of the xi pi less than or equal to m. Or sorry, I'm just going to say equals. I'm going to do the typical case, and I'm going to assume that you exhaust all your income. And in a general problem like this, that makes a lot of sense. I mean, this guy's not going to want to leave stuff on the table. He's not going to want to have income left over. He's going to spend it all. And he's going to end up using all that income, consuming, consuming the various goods. We can then rewrite these first order conditions as partial u partial x1 equals lambda p1 down to partial u partial xn equals lambda pn and the sum of the xi pi equals lambda. So those are our first.